Now let us understand the difference between hypothecation, pledge and mortgage. Now these, all the three of these are type of charges. A charge is an impediment, is a hurdle, is an obstruction in your title. Charge is something which will not allow you to sell your goods. If you are the seller, if you are the owner and your property has some charge over it, then you possibly cannot sell the goods. You possibly cannot, uh, you know, sell, transfer the ownership to somebody else because there is a hurdle, there is an impediment, there is an obstruction which does not make the title clear. If the title is clear, nobody can stop you. Here, though you have the ownership, everybody knows you have the ownership, but there is an obstruction. There is a hurdle in selling the goods. And that hurdle is called as charge. Now, this charge is of three types. First is hypothecation, second is pledge, third is mortgage. Now, what is the difference between these three? The difference is the basis on which they are formed. The first type is on immovable And the second one is on movable property that is goods. So the first head is on immovable property. On immovable property you have mortgage that is created charge and on immovable there are two types there are two things first is pledge the second is hypothecation now what happens in pledge what happens in hypothecation what happens in mortgage let's see so now you know that Charge means an impediment. Impediment, imp impediment means an hurdle. Uh, uh, it's an obstruction which does not allow you to sell your you know, goods, property, building, whatever. <clears throat> now, let's say you own a flat and you, you know, kept that flat as a security with a bank against a loan. You took a loan of 10 lakh rupees and you kept your flat as security against that loan. So it will be said that the flat is mortgaged. You will not say that the flat is pledged. You will not say that the flat, that the flat is hypothecated. You will say that the flat is mortgaged. Mortgage has been created over it because on immovable things, on immovable properties, the charge that is created is called as mortgage. Okay. <clears throat> and on immovable properties, on immovable things, on goods which are movable, the charge that is created is called as pledge or hypothecation. Now, pledge is a case where
pledge is a type of charge wherein the goods are you know, kept as security. Let's say you take a loan of one lakh rupees. You take a loan of one lakh rupees. And you keep gold as security with the lender. You keep gold as security with the lender. The lender is called as the pledgy and the borrower is called as the pledger. So the person who keeps the gold for pledge is called as pledger. The person who takes it in his possession, the lender, is called as the pledgy. <clears throat> The second type of charge on movable property is hypothecation. Hypothecation is where you know the possession does not change. In pledge, you gave the possession of gold to the pledgee, that is the lender. In hypothecation, you did not give the possession to the lender. You kept it with yourself. Now, you know, many times you would have seen people purchase bikes and cars on loan. Let's say the bike, you know, cost them 50,000. They paid 10,000 as down payment and the remaining 40,000 was paid by bank to the automobile seller, to the bike seller. So, a loan of 40,000 was taken on the bike. Now, did that bank keep the bike with itself as security because the bike is the security that the bank is having if you do not repay the loan the bank will sell the bike but does the bank keep the bike with itself or the bank gives you the bike to use obviously the bank gives the bike the car to you for your use otherwise what is the use of the loan then if the bank does not give you the car or the bike that you purchased. You cannot go around in that bike, in that car that is kept in the garage or you know the parking of the bank. Why would you purchase it? So the bank gives you. It does not take the possession from you. So the possession is with the borrower. Such a charge is called as hypothecation many times you would have seen business people you know business persons businessmen take loans for business and they keep their stocks as security that is the bank tells them or the lender tells them if you do not pay your loans we'll sell your stock we'll take your stock and he agrees to it <clears throat> now do these sellers actually take the stock while giving the loan or they get the right to take it in case of default. They get the right to take the stock only in case of default. If they take it right away, what will this businessman sell? How will he repay your loan? He won't be able to do so. So in such cases, the lenders do not take the possession. The possession is with the buyer only, uh, rather the borrower only. The borrower is called as the hypothecator and the lender is called as the hypothecate. But we normally use the words borrower and lender here. So it should be clear that charges are of two types. First on the basis of movability on immovable property and on movable property on immovable property the charge created is mortgage on movable property that is goods the charge created is pledge and hypothecation pledge means where the possession of security 
whatever the security it is maybe shares maybe gold maybe some other asset it is kept with the lender it is given to the lender so the possession is with the lender in case of hypothecation the possession remains with the borrower it is not given to the lender it remains with the borrower so mortgage pledge and hypothecation these should be clear by now here the example would be shop house etc 